Hi guys, welcome to Ask Nikki P on my bedroom floor. Oh yeah, I'm literally sitting on my bedroom floor in front of, what is on my face? I don't know guys, I don't know. In front of my bed and then the window is like literally foot in front of me. So, um, keeping it real, trying not to kick the tripod. Okay, getting comfortable. Um, my whole house is a mess right now because we are deep cleaning it. We had so much laundry to do. We're cleaning all of the bedding. Um, we are deep cleaning the floors. The bedroom floor is going to be last because there's literally piles of laundry like color coordinated everywhere. So I wanted to sit down and film Ask Nikki, but I didn't know where to film because I'm a loser and I still haven't like, well, I'm not a loser, but I still haven't done that second room, which is a whole nother, like it's going to be a whole nother area to film, but I still haven't done it yet. And so I just thought I would sit right here and film. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump in and read today's question that you guys sent me. So it says, hey Nikki, I am a 21 year old college student living about three hours away from home for school. While I am away, my mom texts me things like how much she misses me and asks me if I'm coming home almost every weekend. She tells me things like how she doesn't sleep well without me home and feels as though she has no reason to live with me living so far away. My mom struggles with depression and it seems to get worse when I'm about to go back to school after breaks. She constantly cries, begging me to transfer to a school closer to home on a regular basis. I feel bad that she feels this way, and I almost feel guilty um, always being excited to go back to school. I really enjoy being on my own with my friends and my boyfriend. I was considering getting a 12-month lease for an apartment next year as opposed to a 9-month lease, and I thought she was going to have an anxiety attack. I was also discussing my plans after college with some family members on Thanksgiving, and I did not plan oops, sorry, text. I did not plan on living near my home and she started sobbing. Whenever I talk about how much I enjoy school, she either starts crying or gets mad and asks me why I hate her so much. We have always lived very close to my mom's side of the family, so she takes it personally that I don't want to follow the same path as them and I want to live in a different area. I'm sorry this is so long, but I have no idea what to do in this situation or who to go to. Your advice is always the best. Sorry for the little chuckle. Um, I'm chuckling a little bit because... I appreciate that, but I don't know if I have the best advice. I just kind of give what's on the top of my head. So, all right, first thing, um, that's difficult. I, I feel for you, and that sounds like a very hard situation, and I guess I'm just going to say whatever comes to my head. First thing is, I, I think you already know this, but I have to say the issues that your mom is dealing with, are dealing with, or is dealing with, they don't have to do with you. They're not issues that have to do with you. She's for some reason leaning on you and looking to you to solve these issues, but because you didn't actually cause these issues, you can't solve these issues. They're not your problem. And that's gotta be so hard. I can't even imagine being in that situation and having to like leave and deal with my mom sobbing when I leave. But I'm really proud of you because my honest opinion is that you have to do what you have to do and what you want to do when you grow up. And it that's kind of the whole point of growing up is you leave and you make your own family and you make your own life. And, you know, it's that's really hard, but that's how it is. And I would say, I don't know, I kind of have a cut. I'm kind of torn in like my thought on which I don't know which would be the best. But part of me feels like you should talk to your mom and you should, you know, say to her, it's really hard for me, mom, because I want to live my life and have my friends and find the things that I love to do and explore life. But when you get so depressed and you're so like dependent on me, it makes it hard for me to do that, to live my life and to find the things that I love and to be passionate about life because I'm just, I end up being just worried about my mom who's worried about me when you should be living your own life and letting me live mine. So part of me feels that way, that talking to your mom would be good and explaining to her, like, dude, it's really hard for me when you're having like panic attacks and crying when I'm just like doing like a normal grown up thing. But then part of me feels like, because I think that's a really strange, um, if there was like a not mean sounding word for immature, like reaction to that, like, because it's kind of an immature reaction to you going off to school, I don't even know if talking is going to help the situation or if she's just going to get angrier and, like, stand her ground. Um, but what I will say, like, regardless of which way you choose, whether you decide that it's best in the situation to talk with her and to just 
tell her how upsetting this is or if you decide like this is how my mom has always been and we've talked about it over and over and she's you know genuinely struggles with depression and I don't know the whole situation if she's on medication and if you decide not to talk to her regardless um, I want to reassure you that you're not doing anything wrong by growing up it's it I don't know if you struggle with this if it can feel wrong but it's not wrong growing up and starting your own life and going after your passions and working towards building your own family like that's how it's supposed to be and that's how life is and I do feel like also there's ages where you go out into the world and you explore things and you may eventually want to move closer again to your mom and her family but if this is what you want to do right now, then that's what you got to do. There, like I said, there is an age that people go off, and it is typically like the college age where they go off and they explore and they live their life and discover what they love and make friends, and that's just what like this time period is about for a lot of people. So do not feel bad about that. I feel bad for your mom, and that's hard and that sucks, and there's obviously something going on there, but you should not feel bad for living your life. Um, so I, I feel bad because I don't really have the greatest advice. I want like anyone who's dealt with this as usual, put in the comments, like your thoughts, or if you dealt with the same thing or opinions or advice, uh, put that in the comment section because I don't know, it's hard to tell. I don't know like how mentally stable or unstable she really is. It might be worth going to a third party, getting a counselor involved and paying for a therapy session. Um, and having a, like a neutral third party in the mix to help, you know, communicate messages and get it really across. I'm just not sure because like I always say, I'm not, really, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, I'm not in this situation. But I can say it'll be okay and that I think you're doing the right thing and there's nothing to feel bad about. So, um, yeah. If you guys, that's, I was about to segue into my little outro. I just, I've gotten so used to doing it so quick, but I was just going to say that's the end of um, this question. Oh, I'm going to open up the Twitter question. Let me see. Hold on, peeps. Hold on. It says, what is your favorite Christmas song? Okay, so my favorite Christmas song, I will link this down below, is a song called Hosanna. I don't know if it's a Christmas song or if it's just like a christian you song but i sang it with my sisters like two years ago in vlogmas my dad played guitar and we covered that song so i'm gonna link that down below if you want to go over and check that out because that was really fun and um yeah if everybody on this channel didn't know by the way on my main channel dan and i are doing vlogmas this year so it basically just means oh i was like speaking of dan i think he's walking outside the window but that wasn't him um we're vlogging every single day until christmas so that's what that means and yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. So I will see you all very soon. If you want to send me messages, send them to AskNikkiP at gmail.com or you can tweet them to me and you just use the hashtag AskNikkiP. I will see you all very soon. I hope you're having a great day. And yeah, bye guys. Mm -hmm.